Okay, welcome everybody to Coffee and Art in the, I guess it's almost afternoon. <laughs> yeah, I know, Janet. And I'm just going to do a little letter practicing. So I did a couple of things out of this book here using her samples. I don't even know what page that one was on. But uh, I think that was in here. Let's see here. So she has all kinds of, and I've showed, there it is. I showed this book last week, and um, the black just looks so dramatic, but I like the colors, too. She's got all black on this one, on the samples. But anyway, so I did this one in blue and just kind of looked at it. I didn't draw lines out or anything, so there was just some practice. So I, I wanted to do some of my favorite quotes from my quote book here and um, my uh, Francis Bacon quotes. So I might do that. And I think I'll do a practice first on just some uh, notebook. And that's what I've been practicing. All this is on notebook paper. So, yeah. So um, maybe I should do it in a pretty color. Like I did this in blue. I did this one in turquoise. That looks pretty. Maybe a, like a purpley red color or something. Let's see see if this one's working that's too pink let's see let's get a little more do I do have a darker one that's the same one it's just a different one let's see mm, I kind of like the magenta but I'm keep picking the, I think these are all the same there's one that's darker kind of like the magenta but I like the blue too maybe we'll just go with the blue so Hey, Megan. Hey, everybody that's popping. I think I've already said hi to everybody when we were over at Fees uh, with Fiona and uh, Hope. So, okay. So, what I'm going to do is I have lines here. So, when I did some practice on, like, cardstock, I, I drew lines with pencil and a ruler and uh, kind of penciled them out. So, I have a little sample of penciling them out. And uh, so I'm going to do uh, one of my uh, Francis Bacon quotes. I've been warming up. So if, if I hadn't have done all this in the last hour, and you can see where I didn't, some of them didn't turn out. If I hadn't have done all this, I would have wanted to do some of this first before trying to quote. And even, even with this, it, you know, it's not going to be perfect. Uh, I'm still learning brush lettering myself. But I'm going to use the Crayola Super Tips. Because, for one thing, these are readily available and inexpensive. And if you could do it with this, you could do it with your Tombos and everything else. So, I like these. I, I like the way they feel. So, I'm going to try it with this. So, yeah, hopefully the lighting and everything. Maybe I should zoom in one, maybe. Like that, maybe. That looks pretty good. So hope everybody's having a good day. We got all our grocery shopping. Jean goes, what'd you buy today, Dee Dee? I went food. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah. And then plus I've been working on all kinds of projects. Well, uh, I've been working on some projects the last week. Uh, remember when we did the um, Valentine, not Valentine, uh, Victorian, the Victorian cards? that I had done some years ago so we did some more I can't show them to you because I sent I gave them away and I've already mailed them off and uh, do I have the my old one though and I even gave one of my originals away but these like Victorian postcards well after I did this I thought you know what might be kind of fun to do is let's do some Victorian type stuff I'll give y'all a sneak sneak peek. But instead of doing, y'all want a sneak peek? <laughs> Let me make sure my chat's scrolling here. Um, I'll give y'all a sneak peek of what we're going to do probably next week maybe. Is I'm going to do Victorian, well not just Victorian, but I made two Victorian pocket zines. And so what that means, and I haven't really done a lot to the inside, but what I did is I took a piece of scrapbook paper, 
I'll, let me untie let me take the little tie off here and I made zines out of the made eight, out of the eight and a half by eleven sheet I cut down 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper and made it into a zine and I've shown we've done zines lots of times and shown how to make a zines so and then what I did is I cut the two the two that have the open thing there and I cut down and I made little pockets on two of them so two of them have pockets let's get that one out there I hope I didn't glue it in because <laughs> I put these together hang on let me I think I did actually glue that in well that's okay I'll get it out and uh, so I made little pocket zines with little pockets now I haven't put anything in it but I'm thinking some quotes or anything anything could be in it right but I made them with the Victorian look kind of like we did this it, well this one's I don't even know how old this is it's at least five or six years ago uh, it may have even been longer I don't remember how old this one is yeah so anyway um, that's what we'll probably do let next week is make some little pocket zines and you can put anything in them little drawings glue little pictures in there that yeah see I did stick that together with the, the thing there you can um, you can put little anything in here with on little papers little quotes any little pictures get out your ephemera and your syllable pieces and make make some pocket zines yeah we've made zines over the years Janet was I think Janet was saying something about maybe doing another zine swap after the scavenger hunts over uh, I don't call me on that I don't know but anyway I just wanted to show that you can use your scrapbook papers to make the zines so there's there's a couple oh here's another one I did this one here this one I'm still working on this is with some of that uh, you know stretchy stuff I forget what that's called now. <laughs> oh my gosh I always forget the name of that so anyway so yeah so just taking scrapbook papers and see what I cut down two of them smaller so that they have the little pockets in there so yeah I know so there we go so there's a couple ideas okay so let's get on to my lettering here <laughs> yeah I don't know Janet had said something about it yes yeah, so having another zine swap but she's you know everybody's doing the scavenger hunt uh, and if you want to see people scavenger hunt pages just go to hashtag scavenger hunt 2018 and you on you know Twitter and that's mostly I think some are some are putting it on Instagram I, I don't know there's it's just scavenger hunt 2018 um, yeah, the, the, those zines are just made out of one eight, eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. I'll show how to make them again. Remember our book, What You Mean, What's a Zine? I don't know if I... We did this some years ago. Let's see. If I can put my hand... Ah, here it is. We bought these out when, uh, when we bought these out. These, this, is, this is like vintage. This is like before <laughs> everybody did everything on computers. Let's see, when did this come out? This came out in 2006. So, yeah, we've been we've been do, making well, making zines long before that, but this this is like old school and it's all cartoons, handwritten, hand drawn, how to do zines, and there's many, many ways to fold a zine. The ones that we do with the zine swaps and I'll pull out like some of the zine swaps we've done over the years um, they're just your basic very simplified zine so yeah okay so hey May anybody else popping in so what I want to do is um, do one of my uh, Francis Bacon quotes here so we're, I'm just I'm not even gonna I'm not penciling it out or anything I'm just gonna try to we'll see what this and it's on a practice sheet this will be practice okay so hopefully we're in camera and all that last it was hard last I was trying to do it all different ways to keep it in camera last time I was playing with them and yeah so I just kind of decided well let's back away enough for you to kind of see the whole thing 
so yeah I'm just gonna I got my letters samples and stuff all here too so I can I have them all here and you know been practicing this morning it, you make it a zines on your to-do list Kate yeah and there's just so many ways to do them you know draw, hand drawn we've done those too so anyway okay so back to our um, back to our lettering here so as you all know we we there's a bunch of us that have been trying to do uh, brush lettering uh, with markers uh, I think Janet tried some with um, hang on I gotta kind of concentrate it here with uh, what do you call it uh, watercolors and I think that's not supposed to be thick right there oh well we're gonna roll with it this is again this is practice and you can kinda do I want those connected there and you don't have to have them connected at all but hey Kia Okay, this is might be too big. I don't think I'm going to fit this on here either. That I need to make it. Well, we'll, we'll just let me just get my hand going here. Then we can start over. And one of the things that the book said that I and I said this last time when I did. I don't know if we recorded that part. Was you go really really slow now I'm going faster probably than I should uh, but you're supposed to go really really slow when doing them down strokes are thick up strokes are thin and I might have should have let's see maybe I should have okay and um, what was the other thing oh and pick up your pin in between the up and down strokes see I wasn't doing that I'm used to doing calligraphy with the metal nib let's see do I want this to come and you can add there's all kinds of ways to add swirls and things too If you have any questions, put them in caps. I'm trying to kind of concentrate, but also re-chat. And that was a thing I thought, oh, I didn't even think about having to pick up. Pick up the uh, pen. And then also trying to do bounce letters, like have some lower, some higher, some higher and some lower, which is like here. See how they're not on a line and some letters are big look look at that tiny O and then look at that size O look at that R see there's different size letters Here, look at that little A so right now I'm just kind of getting my hand going here with the with the quote that's too big see I, I need to start that over. I, I'm writing way too big because I won't fit the quote on the page that's not going to fit on the page. Okay, so let's just start over here and write littler. And I kind of like the bounce lettering. Let me kind of keep that here. I've done, I've written down some different quotes out of her book. and Let's see if I can do... sure my chat's going am I here guys oh there it goes it just jumped so I think I kind of want to do I want that connected maybe So I should have lifted right there because I kind of got that too thick. So 
So is there anybody else besides me, Janet, and Paula that are going to be doing brush lettering this year? No, Janet is, and Janet's using a watercolors. And Paula, I just saw she bought some more books. Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? Caber, Kathy, Dot, Daisy. I'm going to sip a coffee here. Wee Hootie, Scoobs. There's a lot of people going to do it. Daisy, Aaron, I'll watch. <laughs> this is, again, way too big to fit. I need to write littler um, to get the whole quote on the page. Um, you know what? Let me try these. I have these markers. Hang on. And I had I bought these for sketching. Um, I bought these for sketching. The touch, the uh, pin 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 tail touch. I think that's what they're. They're Japanese. I got these from a jet pin some years ago. Well, not some a couple, maybe a couple years ago, maybe a year and a half. I probably got these about a year and a half ago. The touch. And they're like a marker, too. And I'm thinking they might be smaller. Because I want to do smaller. Because I'm not going to... This isn't going to fit. Right? Hey, Pacola, you are, too. So let's go ahead and do something. Let me get the blue. And so you can kind of see what kind of pinpoint it is. You want to see these, Janet? Janet, you don't have these? I'm surprised. Let me get, hang on, let me take the focus. Let me autofocus here so you can see. I'm trying to get it to, well, it's trying. It's trying. <laughs> it wants to focus. I guess I need something else up there too. There we go. Well, it started to. There we go. That's what it looks like. <clears throat> Pacola's going to try the Pentel Sign Brush Pins. I don't think I've seen those. Now I've used my real brush, my Kurataki real brush watercolor ones. Don't tell Eileen, because <laughs> she'll make you buy them. Uh, that's a pen, Pacol this is what that is? This is a Pentel sign brush? You have these, Daisy? Okay, well, what a, the, the tip, it, you know, I can write smaller. Because you see how big th this is with the... Nothing wrong with that if you're just writing a couple of, you know, practicing some letters. And I did this one. I did this. This is a short quote. I did this one with um, um, Crayola Super Tips. But my whole quote is, the job of the artist is always to deepen the mystery. The job of the artist is always, you know, that's not going to fit. <laughs> Uh, she'll tell you to use, yeah, like, like she does, Eileen. I mean, Janet, like Eileen uses what she's got. <laughs> okay, so let's see if I can get this on here. Okay, so. I've got to write smaller, right? And I was going to maybe, you know, do the jumps. And that T, I don't know if that really looks like a T to me. 
it doesn't look like a T. It's, let's, let's, that's why you, it's nice to use uh, notebook paper. <laughs> she lost her mind. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. All right, so. All right, so you can see the difference in the sizes. Again, I'm, this is practice. See, it's on notebook paper. <laughs> And I'm not doing bouncy letters right now. I'm just kind of, see, like that O is not right. But that's why this is practice. Needs to squish together. If I'm going to do a full quote, they need to be, the letters need to be together. Now I want a bigger artist right in here. Let's see. That can connect those two. That would look nice. Okay, so I want that word, that word to be bigger than the red, other letters. Let's see. And you can pencil this out, you know, pencil it out to get the exact spacing. That's what I do when I do uh, calligraphy it with... Um, nib steel nibs pencil it out lightly so you get everything spaced because you know this is just practice but if you're doing it on a parchment you know you got one shot <laughs> So I wanted to do different size letters. See, I already run up into that one. If I want some littler, let's just play here. She does some like little letters. All right, that needs that's the wrong size. And then some bigger. Okay, I'm not liking the way that's going to because I need that to look like always. I want that to look like that size. It is always and then I want it to be maybe I should just write it out first on the paper so I know on this paper to deepen the and then have a big mystery like this. Something like that. So if I do it like that, there's my layout. Okay, so let's start over. Okay. So, and do I want one line? Let's just do it smaller. Let's try to do it on one line, the lower case. Okay, so let's see. So we'll do a big T here. Okay. 
Okay, that would be thicker there. That needs thicker. And see, I'm writing way faster than she said to write, too. You got to write real slow. I like those little flick, make it look like a little flame on there. Okay. Okay. So now I gotta squeeze in. Let's see, do I want it right in here? I think so. So I'm going to run into that one. What do y'all think? What's the she? Who's the she? Who's the she she's talking about? I don't know, Paula. The author of the book. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. This book. <laughs> This where, uh, let's see, where's here? Here's one of the quotes that I did out of this book. And I did this one with, uh, with a super tip. But it's so thick. See, the letters are, I mean, so big. So this is tinier, so I can write littler to get a whole quote on here. This is much more dramatic and pretty, but you can't get a huge quote on one little sheet of paper like this. Well, I guess you could if you really got it space just right okay where was my here's my layout here okay all right so let's see I need to take my time and, you know, just really take my time. It's hard to do that when you're trying to, you know, not be, you know, not take all day for you guys. But she says to go very slow. Go slower than you think. Oops, so I need to slow down. That looks a little sloppy there. I don't like the way I did that, so I'll make sure not do that. And 
and that needs to be slower. You can tell when you go too fast. So do I need it right in here? And this needs some swirl to it or something. Some flourishes. Okay, now I can breathe. I can take a breath. See, this needs to come down like like that or something. Or I guess you could just add more. Yeah, like I would in a in nib calligraphy. <laughs> okay. So again, if I tried to do it like this big, you can see, see it wouldn't fit. This would be good for a big piece of, you know, big piece of paper. Oh my gosh, but I'm holding my breath, Janet, and I know I do that. I do it when I do regular calligraphy too. I hold my breath. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, there's a little bit of uh, practice. And that's what this, that's what these um, touch, I think they're pentallic touch. It's Japanese. I got, I got all these. Um, I got these back when Miss Lisa gave me a, uh, she got me a, uh, what do you call it, a, a Amazon gift card, Miss Lisa Scott. And I got, because she wanted me to get the um, pilot, the, what do you call it, pen. Uh, parallel pen. She wanted me to get a wider parallel pen and whatever. So I got that and I got these. So that's been probably a year and a half or two years ago. And I got I got these to actually sketch with, not to do lettering. So I can get you some math. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, he teases me all the time, Janet. He'll tease me and say, why are you moaning when you're arting? Because I'll sit there and I'll go, uh, uh. <laughs> He'll say, why are you moaning? And I said, I'm not moaning. I'm holding my breath. <laughs> all right, let's do this again with a different color. Let's try a different color. Let's go with, uh, let's go with, let's go with a pink. How about a pink? Oh, well, maybe let's, should we go with green? Because Jean's here. <laughs> Nobody likes pink. <laughs> or maybe we'll do pink and green. There we go. <laughs> we'll freak everybody out. All right, so I'm going to use this as my sample. <laughs> All right, so, and again, put the point down to you. I was trying to do it, like, kind of weird the last time we were under the camera because I was trying to get it all to fit under the camera. It wasn't working. It was hard to do under the, you know, I'm trying to make sure I was, like, zoomed in and everybody could see. Okay, so let's let's do this again. Here, and I will zoom in, but it you won't see the whole thing, right? Let's, uh... You know, you'd be coughing if you held your breath. <laughs> yeah, and there's all kinds of practice sheets online. Yeah. Uh, I think somebody said Pintel. I think it was you, Pacola. Didn't you say it was Pintel? Or Tombow. Tombow has free practice sheets. I haven't put any of I haven't done that. I haven't even, I haven't even worked in the actual book yet. Um, you know, there's all kinds of practice sheets in here, too. With words, letters. And then here's the projects back here. So, yeah. 
And I'm not even I'm not even doing bounce letters here. Should I try to do some bounce letters? I don't know. I guess I could try. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. Let's start again. And the more you do, the more comfortable you get with doing it, right? Maybe I can do them smaller, too. Um, I'm not going to do bounce letters yet. I want to write it just a couple more times by itself. Do bounce. It scares me, but looks, yeah. Uh. To me, I would think you'd kind of want to pencil that out. I'll show you what I mean after I do this one. And you can go this way. Some of the girls, it looks like, go forward and so, with the Fs like this. And then sometimes they go backwards like that. See, this one came down and went this way. This one I just came down and went like a regular F. So I think they kind of do it both ways. I don't think it matters. You're going to get your own style. There should be 12 of these pins. I don't know. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I got 11 of them. There's uh, oh, probably the black one. I probably used the black one for something else. <laughs> I probably picked out the black one for something else. Okay. Um, good job. Um, that And again, I'm they the girl said you should it should take you 10 times longer to write with brush lettering than it does normal lettering. That's how slow you should be going. All right, now I'm going to put artist in pink. And so I know I'm writing way faster than I su I'm supposed to to really do this. do Paula please do I, I saw the covers of, and I did not know Paula I like all your tweets and Paula says she <laughs> on her whatever set on her settings on Twitter she doesn't see likes so Paula I think there's a lot of us out there that you probably think is are ignoring you and we all like everything that you tweet and you don't see us liking it <laughs> Look, I like everything you tweet. Uh, <laughs> and so you're just not seeing us. <laughs> okay. Now go back to the green.
<laughs> no, they don't ignore you. You just don't know when we're talking to you. <laughs> uh, okay, i got to get deep and on the other side of this. See, this is where uh, laying it out first helps. Because if I had penciled this in, I would know the, how to put deep in and not run into that Y. Or I would know not to make my Y um, uh, descender so deep, you know. Whoops. <laughs> Don't drop your pen on the paper. Back to the pink. Let's see how I want to do my M. I should have, and that right there, I should have connected that up into the S. It would look better, like I did here. I should have did that here, but I tried to get fancy. Yeah, I would like that better if that Y would have come right up to the S. I was thinking about the M, and I should have been thinking about the S. So, yeah, CB, these are the touch. I think they're Pentel Touch. I got them at Jet Pins. I think there's 12 in a pack. I have 10 here, and I think my... Uh, I think the... Uh, Oh, the twelfth one was black. So, yeah, these are the colors that come in it. And I got it a year and a half, maybe maybe it's closer to two years. I don't know. But I bought them to sketch with. And, you know, now we're using them for the... So it's good for small. So you can see the difference in size between... Oh, let me back up here. So here's the difference in size between this nib and this one. This is the the super tips. And then this is the see it's like a flare maybe? I don't know. What it's it's not really a felt tip, it's like rubber. And I really don't know the particulars of the pin nib. Janet might know more. But it's the touch, and it's got Japanese writing. It's all Japanese except touch, but I think it's Pentel touch. So, yeah, it's a big difference in size. So if you want to do a quote, like, you know, decent size, but then in her book, let me show you, it's kind of maybe in between. See, look how big that is. This is done with the bounce, and I'll do some of these because everybody wants to see the bounce, but I'm not good at it. I haven't practiced the bounce that much, so I can look at hers and do it. Where's that other one I did? Here. Here's one of hers out of the book that I just 
kind of hand. I didn't. I don't know. I just kind of looked at it and did it. But we'll we'll do a couple of these. We'll just look at hers and do them. The bounce letters. They feel rubbery to you too. Yeah, they're not exactly the felt tip. They're like a rubber. I haven't looked on Amazon for these either. I just got them uh, at Jet Pins. They are a type of rubber. You Googled it? Okay, Paula, thanks. Okay, so now let's go with a black. Now, I don't have a black. Um, I have other black pins, but I don't have in the sets that I bought um, the Tombow set. And I don't think there's black. Oh, there is a black. Okay, there is a black in the Tombow. Oh, this is the artist lot. So there's not a black in the Tombow. That's dark blue. So I have a set of the Tombows and then I bought a set of the Artist Loft watercolor brushes and they look exactly the same as the Tombow. I mean, like, so if you want to get a set that's like half the, literally, literally half the price. I think the Tombow set's 25 on regular price, and I think the Tombow, I mean the Artist Loft is 12 and then I used a 50% off coupon, so I got my set, both of them, for half price. I didn't pay full price for either one at Michael's. I got my uh, Tombow's for 12 I think, and I got my Artist Loft's for 6 So, get you the Artist Loft if you can. It's, it looks like, looks like the exact same pen. Now, the ink colors are probably a little different. This one says watercolor. Tombow doesn't say watercolor, although it moves with water. So, yes, yeah. so we're going to try some different pens, okay? All right, so let's try hustling. <laughs> so, anyway, I have a, I want to do all my uh, Francis Bacon quotes um, in, out of my little quote book here eventually. So, yeah, but I like the way this is small for if you want to write in a journal or if you're doing Bible journaling or if you're doing um, just just doing your quotes fancy in a in a notebook or journal, then this is going to be little. You know, you're going to fit it on a page. You're not going to fit a big quote. I mean, look, this is this is four words. Go forth with grace. It takes up the whole page. So if you want to fit a whole, you know, longer quote, you, you need to write with the littler one. Which I'm learning all this too, which it makes sense because it's the same thing with my nibs. Um, hang on. Hang on, let me get my, some of my nibs here. Hang on, where's my nib? Where's my nib thing? Let me get up. And I always can't remember that I put it in this box Hubster gave me. So so there's just different size nibs. Like, let me show you three or four different sizes. That one. Here's this one. Okay. Let me line them up here. Okay. So there's different size pin nibs with steel nibs. All right. So, like, look. There's a pointy one. And you can even get them pointier than that. But this is for, like, you know, doing calligraphy lettering. Not like just um, italics. This is for very small. I could probably do this with this pen. Okay. Then there's like this size is one up. Here's another one, one up from that. And then th there's a large one. So, and they just come out. They just pull out of your holders. And then got my little uh, seals in here. My wax, some matches wax seals and then here's my little nib holder that Pam Queen Pam made me out of corrugate and Janet's made herself one so here's a bunch of my nibs different sizes here's her card let me just put her card behind it so maybe you can see the different size nibs there see and then there's like the next row the next row and so it's just a place it's just corrugate she made it out of corrugate so you can just you kind of like just stuff the little nibs down in the corrugate there. See? Isn't that cool? So, yeah. 
it just keeps them nice and you can see them all. Uh, this isn't all of mine. I should put them all in here. But anyway, um, here we go. some smaller ones. Jan Janet, you made me this one, right? Janet made this one out of a uh, cord. There you see. I'm trying to get it so you can see the holes down in there. They have the same set with a felt tip mention in it. So people on YouTube don't buy the wrong set. Oh, okay. So they how how do you tell does it will it say felt tip? And will it say what does it say for the rubbery ones? Yeah, probably Target and Walmart are gonna have the felt tip. Yeah, these are not what these are and they're not as cheap either, I don't think. I don't remember the price what I paid for them, but with because uh, what you call it, uh, Lisa gave me a gift card when I bought them. You need to make one for Terry Trouble too. Yeah, you should have. I thought for sure. Yeah, you didn't sign it. I need to send it back to you. You need your name in there somewhere. <laughs> I thought you'd made it for me, like in a matchbook type. But um, yeah. So. Anyway, there's just different steel nib sizes, just like there are different. And if you're if you want to do practice, like Janet and I have probably every Schaefer set ever made. The Schaefer ones, these are great. They're the like a fountain pen type with the cartridge in it. Whoops, this one doesn't have a cartridge in it. They probably may not because I don't use these really anymore. Um, the only problem with these are great for practice. If you want to practice regular calligraphy, um, they're great for that. But unless they've changed the formula, the ink in these that come in the little cartridges are, is not fade proof. So don't do anything professional with these, but they're great for practicing. This is what, well, it's not the very first calligraphy pen. The very first calligraphy pen I ever used, I was a, probably 13, 14, and I saw an ad, and I still have it somewhere. It was in the newspaper. It wasn't an ad. It was an article. There was an article about a guy that had, and he just had a little cheap bottle of ink. Well, it looked like it to me anyway, just those little tiny bottles of ink, and he had a little calligraphy pen about that big. And he did these, um, I mean, but they were very tiny. It's like an illuminated Bible type light, small. That's how small his lettering was. And I thought, oh my gosh, that's the most amazing thing. And I don't even remember where I got the parchment. It's not like real parchment. It was like parchment-like. I don't know. Pep, you know. And anyway, so I got a big sheet of that, and I cut it into scrolls. And Mom, I, I don't know if she still has. I did one for Mom, one for Grandma, and they were long scrolls. Long scrolls. And she, they both had them framed, I think. Uh, and it was a dip pen. That was the very first calligraphy I ever did. Just by looking, I didn't have a book. There was no internet. Uh, I didn't even think that there would even be a book at the library back then. I'm talking, you know, 45 years ago. <laughs> and um, so I just went off of his, that, that newspaper article. All I had was the newspaper article with letters that big to go from. And I did like two or three scrolls. Sign it for me. <laughs> um, but anyway, if y'all want, you know, when I get done here with some of this, I'll show you some. And I know I've shown y'all before. If y'all want to see some calligraphy books. So anyway, um, but I've never really done brush letter. I've done some italics, but my favorite was always the Old English. You know, I love that bold black ink lettering. I didn't, I never really did a lot of italics and never did really much brush lettering except, you know, a little bit of Chinese, like with, with the, you know, a Chinese brush lettering, you know, a little bit of that, but I didn't like it. I didn't really like it. Um, and then when I started seeing all these kind of books like this come out, um, then I said, well, you know, and it's real popular, popular. You can see them on Instagram, um, tons of them on Instagram. It does say felt on Amazon. Well, I wonder if it's different, Janet. 
I wonder if it's different on Amazon if it says felt because they're not felt that is not felt it's a rubber I'm not sure what but yeah so I wonder if they're the same okay so anyway so started finding some lettering books brush lettering got this one Paula just bought this one too and you know what I really uh, attracted me to this one was all the different alphabet letter styles with each letter see look at all those E's G's so you know it's not just like you just learn one alphabet and there you go there's tons it's like it's just like a uh, steel nib calligraphy there's tons of fonts tons of fonts it's the same thing with the brush lettering they have them both the felt just says that it is the felt version okay 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 good thanks Janet so you know and I, I've already shown this book and this one here this one's hand-drawn lettering so for me I like to make the distinction between and they're all calligraphy just means beautiful writing but for me calligraphy the word calligraphy I associate with the steel nib dip pen okay brush lettering like is like this with the with the a marker or a brush and this is hand drawn where you hand you draw you draw your lettering like you know draw it out and I've shown I showed this book too <clears throat> you're drawing the it's you know hand drawing each letter so there's a difference now this one I've had for I don't know how long we had these Janet <laughs> the art of whimsical lettering and uh, it's been out with Joanne Sharp and I really never did anything with it I was thinking that I would at some point so I pulled this one back out too uh, you know to do to do more of the brush lettering type so you can see there's just so much you can paint it you can letter it with the markers you can hand draw it but as far as I know, none of this is done with the steel nib. This is all arting, arting your lettering. And then if y'all remember back some years, I have these back from 1990. These, uh, these books by uh, Lindsay Ostrom back in, let's see when these were. This one's 1997. I think one's 95, 96, and 97. And so it's the same kind of, you know, doing fancy lettering, all different kinds of lettering and the, you know, pens, markers. But it, again, this was not calligraphy in what it to me means calligraphy with the steel nib, you know, pointy, you know, that's just for me. I mean, I know you can do other things with markers and stuff. Um but it's this is not done with that this is all with markers and painting and hand lettering and hand drawing see so again this these kind of things would fall to me in this category the hand drawn lettering where most of Joanne's type stuff kind of to me falls into it's a little of both but the brush lettering I don't know if this is helpful but I'm explaining what's in my mind yeah and so then I came across this book at um, Barnes and Noble and it was over in the it's not in the clearance yet but it's over in the stack outs you know like out in the aisle it's not it's, it's like it wasn't in the art section it was out on the stack outs if you've ever been to a BAM um, and that's why I found this and I think it was like 10 bucks after my discount and a coupon it's normally $12.97 so yeah I know right Janet and so anyway I'm just going to just pick a couple things out of here and I'm just going to use my artist loft because it's thicker than these you know, it's, I can do the bigger letters with this uh, artist loft. So I'm going to just flip through here, get my stack of 
practice sheets out here. And I'm just, this is just old, just three ring binder notebook paper. That's what you, you don't need. Don't, you know, don't buy expensive paper to do your practicing on. Because <laughs> you want to be able to mess up. You want to be able to like, let's see, I need more under here if I'm going to go on top of the book. Let me get one of the bigger books here so I can put my paper on top of that and put that on top of the book so I can be next to the letter. Um, you want to be able to mess up. So, and you have lines too. So, I'm going to just go. And see, I should have started right there, but. I love those brochures. Yeah, I know, right, Janet? So you want to be able to do it a whole bunch of times. And you can use your lines or not. Like this one, I probably need to do it a little smaller. See, I messed that up. So let, I want to be able to start over right over here. So you want to be able to go, uh-oh, no, no, and start again. You want to be able to do that as many times as you need. If you see you're doing the letter wrong, then just stop. Just stop and do start over. You know? And I love the way black looks, but it's also pretty. It's also pretty to have it in colors. Here, I love this one. I love the teal color. Okay, so let's just flip through a couple things here and see what else we can do. Here, let's just let's just do some of the smaller words here. And it got a little flashed out. Hang on my right out there. Let's There we go. Is that a little better? I'm not sure. Okay. So, and and again, she says you should really go very slow. And it's tempting to go faster when you're doing it on stream. You want to hurry up and get something done? See, I swirled wrong there. So you just want piles of this paper. You just want pile. You don't want to have to worry about, you know, your paper. <laughs> so that's why it's best to use, um, best to use just notebook paper. And this one is more straight up and down. See, that's that's not good right there, that E. It needs to be more... And then, and also the other thing about this, and I need to be tilting it, but I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to keep it under camera so it's a little, I can't really do this and have y'all be like with me. <laughs> I'll try it a little bit like this. So do you see how, how this goes up? So I just wrote it kind of on the line, but let's try to do it more bouncy.
she's like going up on a lot like going up on a see more like that going up you know still with the tour <laughs> That end needs to be fixed. Let me practice one over here. Because it goes way up. Uh, very, say, more like that than like that. And this will look really cool with splattered ink on it. Now here, see how she did wild? It's not even in italics. It's just kind of like hand drawn. And then take a little bit of ink, make it look really cool, and a brush, just a drop is all you need. And I'm just going to add a tiny bit of water, just a squirt. I need a little more water. I didn't put much ink in there. In the book. So yeah. Some practice there. Did it get dark, guys? Are we good on the lighting? Okay, so let's go to another page. Let's move that one. Back to the book here. And see, she's got all different kinds of uh, little projects. She gives you her project in a blank page. And I think they get progressively harder, so. It's a little on the dark side. I can brighten it up. Okay. I don't want to flash it out, but I want y'all to be able to see. Now it's a little flashed out, but I think it's okay. Okay, so. I gotta tilt it. See, I got to. I just have to. <laughs> I 
see how straight up and down that is because I didn't tilt it. I would have probably done that stroke down and then. Okay, let's do it again. Just to get that full curl right there. The flourishes can be a little tricky. They take practice. That needs to be thinner. So anyway, I just want you to see that you got to just keep at it. Here's where she does kind of the one kind of way to do an F. It goes this way, then down and back up. And again, I'm going fast, guys, and, and you don't do fast. And again, you you know do some doodling or do some I mean some splattering or and you can go around those and decorate them with other letters. Okay, I'll do a couple more. And then if y'all want to see any other books, let me know. We'll do Home Sweet Home here, or just let me know, guys. I'm just just. Uh, <laughs> Okay, this one's nice. Well, I was going to say this is a nice thick one. It might be good to do that one with a, um, let's go ahead and do a color. Let's do blue with the, the super tip. Okay. This is kind of like a funky, bouncy letter.
So you see, just kind of play. And they're not going to be exact because you're going to have different handwriting. Your, your, your hand's going to be different. And every word, every quote, every time you do a, a you know, a home sweet home or something, it's, you know, it, this is not an exact. Like, to me, calligraphy with fonts like, here, let me see. And I don't know what I did with my red book. My red book. I tried to find it last time, too. It has my favorite fonts in it. I'm not sure what I did with my red book. to really dig around for that one because it's one of my favorites. Hang on, guys. Oh, no, Janet, look what I found. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Janet's going to die. Hang on, guys. Um, I wanted to find my red book because it has lots of fonts in it. But, for some reason, there's some, hmm. Hang on guys, I'm down on the floor looking. I don't know where my big red book is. guys. I'm flipping through my calligraphy books. Hang on, I got two shelves of them. Well, actually three. Well, maybe this one will be a good one to show. Alright, this might be a good one to show. Since I can't find my red book, I don't know what I did with it. But, hang on, I got a couple things here. So here's what I'm talking about, different fonts. Here's an upper and lower case, black letter or gothic. And these you do with nibs. So this, see how many different kind of fonts there are? Well, this is not, a, again, I can't find my red, here we go. I can't find my red book. Hmm. Here's a few different ones. This just doesn't have near the ones that I wanted to show you. Um, and then here is called the, this is one of my favorite calligraphy books. It's called The Illuminated Page, 10 Centuries of Manuscript Painting. And this is what, how they used to do their Bible journaling. <laughs> and I'm not dissing on anybody that doesn't want to write in their Bibles, but I'm just saying They've done it forever, okay, since Bibles have been around. Um, I love illuminated. Here's some illuminated letters, illuminated hand-drawn pictures. I love this book. This has got some of the most beautiful. If you've ever seen, if you have never seen illuminated manuscripts, and Bibles and books in person, prayer books and stuff. If you've never seen these in person, I'm telling you people, the gold, the gold that they used to, to illuminate, it, it glows. It literally looks like somebody's got a light behind it and it glows. It's hard to explain, but anyway, so you can see some of the decorative So it's here's a piece of my parchment paper in there. Well, for whatever reason, I'm just saying they decorated their books stunning.
stunningly. Look at those borders. Look at those borders. That's more than just telling a story. That's beauty right there. That is some beauty. So anyway, this is one of my favorite books. I tried to find, a, I have a, I call it my red book. It's a book with all letters, um, different things. But look at what I wanted to show you, Janet. I sent Janet a binder. <laughs> I sent Janet a binder for, Eileen made me. Um, she didn't make me, she told me I should. So I had a whole binder of lettering and lettering practice. Janet, look what I just found on my calligraphy shelf. Wait for it. <laughs> Janet, look. I have a whole nother one. <laughs> I have a whole nother binder full of letters. Look, it's a whole binder full of letters and calligraphy stuff. I sent Janet a whole... Uh, let's just flip through this, shall we? <laughs> I said, I said Janet a binder full. Well, I didn't send her the binder because it, it would cost me a hundred bucks to mail that sucker. But anyway, so look, some of these have fallen out. These are some old, you know, different things, probably back from when I was in um, guilds and things. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> And they're all in plastic sleeves. <laughs> so I'm just going to do a flip through here. So that was from a book right there. That one's called Drawing the uh, uh, Decorated Initial. <laughs> you have the same stuff? <laughs> Here's some borders. Look, I even cut them out to get like sizes, to size them correctly. You have a few just like this. I know, right? Oh my gosh. So, yeah. These are old. I mean, I don't even tell you how old they are. Lettering guides, all kinds of lettering guides. They're all in sleeve. I should prop this up so it's not a, it's not a, there we go, a glare. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, so just so you can see all the different. <laughs> Oops. Let's see, I need something more prop. Prop this up better here. Here's a, oh my gosh, no, that's not it. Couldn't be. No, that's stupid. I was going to say, that couldn't be my original. I don't think I have that original article anymore from 45 years ago. <laughs> I bet I could find it. I think it was in the Parade magazine. Y'all remember, does anybody remember the Parade magazine that came in the Sunday paper? I don't know if it still does. We don't get it, but in, the, in our Sunday paper. But the Parade magazine in the Sunday paper... I think that's what the article that I found that that guy did that initially got me into calligraphy. It was, and I don't even know, I don't know where he is from or, or nothing. Flourishes. Clip art and flourishes. We won't. We won't even talk about clip art books, will we, Janet? <laughs> For those of y'all that were around before desktops, <laughs> I used to say before computers, but that's never what I really mean. I don't really mean literally before computers. I mean before we had home computers. <laughs> The parade still comes in the Tulsa world. Okay. Here's some. Here's one on line, line endings and flourishes. Look at this one. See. See.
borders, borders, <laughs> borders for calligraphy, you'd have thunk. I don't think these are in any kind of order. They're just bits and pieces that, that I kept. See, this is the kind of lettering I like, the black letter or the gothic. Um, I love that. Um, here's the, the real sharp one. Here's the rounded ones. But this is what, when I, you know, I still do occasional um, press type. I think, didn't I send you some of that? Wasn't some press type in that stuff I sent you, Janet? I bet it was. Um, for uh, you to choose an advertising. Yeah. Um, I still do an occasional certificate. And these are the kind of lettering I use for that. That's what everybody likes on certificates. Here's all different sizes. All blown up to huge. This is a whole, there's a whole pack in there. So yeah. Spencerian script, the Latin alphabet, articles here, articles from different places. I kept everything cal <coughs> calligraphy. <coughs> Hang on, guys. Sip of coffee. <coughs> I kept anything calligraphy back in. Then <coughs> quotes. <coughs> layouts <laughs> I can't believe I found a whole nother binder Janet look at all the fruit that's from a clip art yeah I thought I'd sent all this to Janet <laughs> I found a whole nother binder I didn't even know I had oh here's Aubrey Beardsley this also uh, I'm pretty sure this is an Aubrey Beardsley. It's a copy, so I don't know. It looks like uh, Aubrey. Um, when I first saw Aubrey Beardsley in high school, that's what got me in pen and ink right there. Not this particular picture, but Aubrey Beardsley got me into uh, pen and ink. <clears throat> Then here's a whole, this is just a book that I uh, cut out and put in uh, in here. It's not even in sleeves. So, yeah, lots of clip art and stuff in here, too. More letters. Oh, an alphabet. Oh, this one. This is, um, this is a charted book. This is a cross-stitch book. I don't know how this one is. I didn't even know this was in here. Let's see what year this baby came out. <laughs> This is back when I did, well, I worked for a cross-stitch company, designing cross-stitch books. Um, so this is way after my the, the age of this book, I think. 1979. <laughs> this is 1979. Cross-stitch lettering alphabets. Look at that. Anywho, there's a little rabbit trail right there. Yeah, that's a big Mama Jamba binder of alphabets and stuff. <laughs> like, look at that. It's like a three-inch binder. Oh, my gosh. Oh, maybe two inches. I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> so, home sweet home. <laughs> Anyway, so I guess I'll let you guys go. Y'all go practice if you're not already. Here's some. Now, this is what we just did today. Um, here's some of the lettering that I practiced <clears throat> earlier. There's it in smaller. This is just the way I can throw that away. I don't even really practice. And these are out of her book. I think most of them are. Here's this. This this is right. Um these are out of the website. What's her name? The Write Pretty Stuff? Write Pretty Things. Write Pretty Things YouTube channel. Go to her YouTube channel. Write Pretty Things. And that's where I got some of this from. 
the bounce, and I practiced with the artist loft, the super tips, and the tombos. I did not have, I didn't, I forgot about these at the time I was doing this. Um, so she has all different kinds of, here's where she did a Merry Christmas. And you just see, see, I just practiced over and over and over the lettering. And then here's where I just did warm up. And here's some blank paper in there. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, I hope you all kind of had fun doing a little lettering. And uh, I'll keep practicing, and I hope you guys keep practicing. I really like this book, but again... Do not go out and you don't do not have to go out and buy the books. I know me and Paul and <laughs> Janet do, but you can go online and I, I I only found a few that I really researched and write pretty things was one of my favorites. I'm there's hundreds out there, guys. I'm sure you can find hundreds of girls and probably some guys doing brush lettering and more in depth, they'll probably tell you exactly which brushes which pins, whatever, you know. Um, and so, Hubster's vacuuming something. I <laughs> anyway. So, yeah. Yeah. So, I hope y'all enjoyed a little, you know, impromptu. And again, I hope Fiona and Hope, her, yeah, I hope, I hope Hope will uh, stream again soon, Fee. I hope she will because that was just so awesome. She is awesome so okay guys thanks y'all have a good the rest of the weekend and we'll talk to you we'll see you on monday <laughs>